Yo, what up world? Welcome back to another FL Studio upgrade video. We're at 20.6 and we have a bunch of new features and plugins to talk about. Um, not quite as big as the last upgrade, 20.5. That was with Flex, but still a bunch of stuff I'm excited to um, talk about here. And um, the way I basically do these upgrade videos is I kind of just give a quick overview on what's new, um, kind of just like the highlights and um, how I feel about it and if I think I'll be using it and you know all that stuff and keep in mind i just got the notification for this for this upgrade a few hours ago so i'm experiencing a lot of uh, these new features for the first time as you probably are yourself and um with that being said let's jump into uh looking at what's new so right off the back i'm just going to go into flex because i love flex and um they added two new parameters to the reverb section this uh modulation and the speed and basically what this is doing is just modulating uh what's well, kind of like detuning the reverb so let me just play this for you so the more right we go on the modulation the more like detuning and oscillation we get and the speed is directly correlated to the modulation so if we turn the modulation all the way down um and the speed, the speed shouldn't do anything at this point. Yeah, as you can hear, it does nothing. But things get interesting when we turn the modulation all the way up. And we increase the speed. We get some cool effects. So yeah, I definitely see that being useful um, through like automation to get like some really cool sounds, especially in like dubstep and uh, a lot of the dance genres. So um yeah, that's that. And then we have this tag section. And this is just basically a quick way to find the particular sound you're looking for. Uh, so the best way to do this would be to click all. And let's say you want a bell. Let's say you want a dark bell. You would click that. And then you get this up here, purple lullaby. So yeah, I, I, I find this. Well, I think this will be even more useful like down the line when there's like 30 packs in flex. Um, and you're looking for a particular sound, this would definitely come in handy. Uh, so yeah, that's what's new in Flex. Moving on. Uh, you have this fruity granulizer. All they basically did was just throw, throw in this like waveform viewer here. Um, I don't really use this plugin often. I don't really see a lot of people using it to be honest. But uh, you can just throw a vocal in there and you kind of just pinpoint where it's going to start. And that's all that it's really doing. Uh, so yeah, I'm sure if you use granulizer a lot, that's definitely helpful to you. Um, what else? Oh yeah, they had this like burn to MIDI feature. So basically, uh, just write out some. chords I'll just write it myself so basically the burn to mini feature can be used um how do i explain it okay so you have like this arpeggiator here you can arpeggiate the chords you just wrote let me lower the tempo so it doesn't sound ridiculous Okay, so you hear that it's arpeggiating, but the MIDI itself is exactly the same. It didn't change um, the actual MIDI. It's still the same two chords we wrote. But if I click, right click flex, burn to MIDI. And it, this works for any uh, native FL Studio plugin, not just flex. Should point that out. Um, burn MIDI 2, current pattern. You said just click yes. So now we have the actual MIDI in our piano roll. And this is definitely useful because now we could, you know, change things around. So that's the burn to MIDI feature. Um, 
as far as I know, it doesn't really work with third-party VSTs unless it's like a, well, the example they give, ImageLine gives is like Cthulhu, like a plugin that generates MIDI. Um, so like an, an ARP modulator or like a chord modulator. Um, as far as I know, it won't work in like Omnisphere or Nexus um, unless there's a way I'm unaware about, but um, I don't think it works in uh, those kind of plugins, but I could be wrong. Uh, so moving on. Fruity voltage controller. Okay, so this one, unless you have hardware synthesizers, um, this you will never use this. Yeah, it even gives like a warning. Do not use this plugin if you don't know what it's for. It can produce audio spikes that are dangerous to your speakers. So I don't have any third um, hardware synthesizers, so I couldn't even show you this if I wanted to. And I'm assuming most people um, who are watching this don't have hardware synthesizers. Uh, so yeah, but this would just be uh, to help control like vo uh, voltage levels with your hardware synthesizer. So if you have one, I would, uh, and you want to use this particular plugin, I would, you know, just YouTube someone who knows more about that. Okay, so what else? Oh yeah, the export. So what they did with exploring is they added two new ways to export. You could um, export right to SoundCloud. So if you have a SoundCloud account, you can just link this to it and just export um, your track directly into SoundCloud. And um, that's definitely convenient. And what I like the most is this, um, export all playlist tracks. So if you have like, you know, your final edit, it's always gonna be in the playlist, right? Um, so now you have an option to just export everything that's in the playlist, um, which I find to be super convenient um, and ex exports them as individual tracks, like, you know, stems. Uh, and I send, sometimes I send stems to other people. So that's definitely convenient to have that option. And you might be saying, well, isn't, wasn't that always there? And there was a, there, well, there is a similar option. Split mixer tracks, but this is specifically for the mixer. So anything that's in the mixer will be split up as, um, as you export it into stems. So, you know, it's two different things. One is exporting your playlist which is the new feature and one and one explored specifically your mixer. So, you know, they're, they're two different things. Uh, moving on. All right, so let's get to, I think that's mostly the small stuff. I'm not sure if I missed anything. Oh, I did miss something. Um, So they added this advanced fill thing. Uh, I don't really see myself using this often at all. Um, it's kind of just another way to work the channel rack. Not really seeing the use in it. Um, maybe some people will, but you could um, you could change the sequence length and you could change the distance between uh, each note or each sample and Euclidean I think that like evenly spaces will create so it looks like it created like a pattern yeah I'm not really totally sure what the point of this is but um, this is new it's just called advanced fill um, you can change the, if you had a bunch of sam uh, samples in here, you can change the target one and uh, you can randomize it here, reset. So that's the new advanced fill option. And again, that can be found right click under the, um, you know, the fill each two steps, four steps, eight steps. Um, yeah, it's right under those options. Okay, so. Let me just throw this into the mixer to show you the next thing. And we have uh, Destructor. 
So this is kind of the highlight of the the update. Um, I think this is like what they're pushing the most. And um, it's basically just an effect channel rack. I know these things are like really popular now. A lot of companies are producing their own, you know, bringing out their own VST channel racks. And it's definitely a convenient way of having a lot of effects um, instead of like having four or five effects down here kind of, no, we kind of just have one effect rack and if you're, if you're a guitarist and are familiar with guitar pedals um this kind of layout should definitely be familiar to you in fact um fl studio already has something similar for guitars it's called hardcore and as you can see it's like you know similar similar in layout but we're not talking about that today uh, so basically what we have here is just it's FL Studio basically just took a bunch of different um, effects from the different plugins like the filter is from Flex um, the chorus is from Delay 3 the speaker which is also just a reverb is from Fruity Convol uh, Convolver and the distortion is a few different things we have Blood Overdrive, Fast Distortion Soft Clipper um, and then you have a bunch of Harmer distortions, which is really cool. Um, and then you have, I think this is from Delay 3, and just some other stuff. And you can change the order. Um, you can remove things. So, you want to remove all this. Let's say you want to have, like, two different distortions, a Harmer distortion, and mix it with Blood Overdrive. Probably sound pretty crazy. Yeah, then you can add um, a filter. Probably want to keep filters at the end of the chain. Uh, and then you have the speaker, which is, like I said earlier, the Fruity Convolver. And that is just... One should be on the reverb. Yeah, so that's kind of just this plugin. Into you know they just took this plugin and put it into here, and it just emulates different kind of um, spaces basically, and, and different kind of speakers. So it's not like a standard reverb. I would have preferred a standard reverb. Um, but I, I maybe they're like because not a lot of people use the fruity convolver. It's kind of more of a an advanced um, plugin, I would say. So I guess maybe that's why they're kind of trying to push this um, this style. I mean, this is like a really basic thing. You know, you just pick your preset and nothing changes. You just have your stereo separation in and stereo separation out, and just very basic um, in and out and mix knobs here at the bottom. Um, and it, it's really just a reverb. If you're confused, just think of it as a reverb. And, um, yeah, that's the Fruity Convolver. I mean, that's the, um, Fruity Destructor or just Destructor. And, uh, yeah, I definitely, I definitely can see like a lot of unique sounds coming out of this with all the different distortion options and, um, or different filter options and stuff. So. And, you know, you also got the chorus, just a basic chorus. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. Uh, oh, you can also just change the sound right right through here. You don't have to delete it and then re-add it. So definitely great for, like, experimental purposes. Can create some really crazy stuff with that. And, um... Moving on to the last thing. So I kept this last because not everybody's going to have access to this. I think it said you have to have, is it producer above and above? I forget what, um, what version you need to have to have this um, plugin. But I mean, either way, no matter what version you have, you can open it in trial mode. Um, 
so this is kind of just I don't know if anyone's ever used the reason and used Dr. Rex but it, it kind of reminded me of that right off the bat um, uh, let me get a loop here So yeah, you just throw it in and it uh, puts automatically detects the loop and uh, finds markers for uh, each hit. And you could, you could change the grid. Right now it's on one fourth beat, quarter beat. You could change it to one half. Let's keep it on one quarter and you can kind of move things around and still keep them on the beat. Now you can use it to create, like it says, new new time, new new rhythms. There's also other things. I'm probably gonna make a video just on this because it's a little more, I would say it's a little more advanced and I, I don't quite like have my head completely wrapped around it yet. But I know. There's a way to. Hold on, let me look it up. Okay, yeah, so you can set like these, con by hitting Control and Alt, you can set these groove markers and you can put them in different places throughout the loop and that will control, you can control that with this groove knob and then do all sorts of weird things with that. So it seems like this the theme of this upgrade was is kind of like sound manipulation. Cause uh with destructor and this it's just basically you know man manipulating sounds. Um you can also load different cut shuffles and then control that. Um you can send this right to the playlist. You can send this to MIDI, so that's cool. Um, you can drag and drop. You can drag certain areas out, just like an Ed, uh, Edison. Um, I probably will make a new uh, whole video on this once it's once I like really understand this plugin completely, because I don't want to. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, I, I just just got the notification. I haven't really spent much time in it. So once I get really familiar with it and understand it completely, um, I'll probably do a video just on this. And um, yeah, so this is uh, the main new features of 20.6. And uh, thanks for watching.